Hello everybody and welcome back to Fire Emblem. We encounter the dragon. As you can see, it's not much what we can do to hurt this dragon. Soul Cardi does nothing. Rudan does nothing. He can also, uh, I believe, uh, range. His range is two, I believe. Yeah, his range is from one away at least. No, is is this range three? No, his range is two. Actually, no, one, two, one, two, three. No, his range is three. As you can see, so so uh, one, two, three. That's his range. Yeah, that's his entire range. He does not move, but he is a very big threat indeed. You may want to move everyone you can in range. Just so they can attack in the next uh, strike. So I'm basically going to spend one turn moving everyone close to him so they can attack. And then I'm going to go into an all out attack with him. As you can see there are some units here that will try to destroy Nils. And Nils may even die. I hope he doesn't. Good. Now here we go ladies and gentlemen. Time to finish this dragon off for good. As you can see only Hector really does anything to him. So why don't we start off with Hector here. His, his HP is question mark, question mark, question mark. But maybe we'll see what his real HP is. 74. He still has 74 damage to be done to him. As you can see, only Ariola Ar and Full Blaze really do anything to him. Ariola does the most damage to him. 20 which brings him to which will bring him to um, to 54 as you can see this is a very intense battle and I just hope that we can survive long enough to make it through it. As you can see, they do nothing. Canis can even do a lot of damage, 44 damage that will Canis will do to him. Well, here we go Canis. Show off that Luna skill. And as you can see, the dragon only has 10 HP left. And Elwood, what will you do? 20 damage. This will finish the dragon off once and for all. But just we'll add insult to injury. This is the greatest threat of one enemy can that one enemy can actually cause to us. So let's add a little insult to injury, shall we? 
I didn't use Nilith Brace, Nilith Might, or Phil's Might, or um, what's the other one? Thor's Ire. I didn't use them at all. To be exact, I only used them to, to level up Nils a little bit in the last thing. So, I mean, have to say that I don't use those items at all. But they're very useful items that can help you a lot throughout the game. And getting them really will be worth your while. I just got them for LPing sake. But yeah. Sarah, level 16. You'll have to do. You're probably the highest level healer that I ever had. Elwood, you will get the honors of ending this LP. And killing the dragon with Drandal. After all, this is your story. And there we go. It's done. Elliewood. Elliewood. Lord Elliewood. I'm here. I'm right here. Well done, brave successor to Roland. It's finally over. Finally. Everything is... Lord Athos. Uh, looks like I've exhausted my strength. I, I'll die before you, friend. I may well follow you soon. For now, I will sleep again. Elwood, Hector, Lynn. I've lived a long, long time. But now, I'm done. Do not grieve. Soon, I will be with the long absent friends. I have no regrets. Lord Athos. Now, my friends. My family, let me give you a parting gift. As I lay dying, I see many things. I see the future. Oh, why? Why is this not now? Neither Bremen nor I will be here to help a land in need. What do you see? An evil star rises and burns. All of LA will once again be awash in blood. But do not fear, once again Lycia brings hope. Children of fire. Everything. Lodetos, even at the end, he thought of us. Cray be it. Look, both of you. Lord Athos. It's almost as thought he's smiling. This world will once again be enveloped by darkness. But at the end... A saving light shall rise. Nin Yen. Lord Elliewood. I'm so happy. I can't believe you're back. I feel like this is all a dream. Once I lost you, I knew for sure I need you. I want you be by my side forever. Lord Elliot, I... I must go home. What do you mean? I'm... the cause of all of this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. 
Minion. Here on a leib. We were nurtured for ages in the land of our birth. Even after you humans invaded and drove us out. Not a day passed that I did not think of it. I yearn to see it once again. Our homeland. Those children. The fire dragons. They were like me. We knew that it was forbidden. And yet we answered Nurgle's call and opened the gate. We didn't intend to stay long. Just to see home one last time. But, but Nurgle captured us and it led to this. We humans, we took control of the continent. Like it was our right. We never considered who or what we drove away. Ninian, Nils, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. Lord Elliot, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work together and think about the future. If the entire continent were made a place where dragons and humans could live together, like the hidden city Lodato spoke of, Arcadia. Wonder wonderful world that would be. La 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 la. That's certainly something that won't happen for a long, long time. So, we can't stay here. The gate is still open. If it remains so, the other dragons will certainly pass through. Before that happens, we must return to our world. We must regain our power and seal the gate from this side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? That can't be. Lord Elliwood, I'm truly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you. Please, please don't forget about me. Ninyan. Come, Nils, let us go. We must return to our world. Ninian, the air of this world. It shan't, it's changed so much from what we knew. No matter how much time passes, our strength will never return. If we stay here, we will not survive long. Nils, why do you... But even knowing that your life will be short... Ninian, you truly wish to remain here, don't you? I understand. Stay here. Stay with Lord Elwood. Nils? Lord Elwood, Ninian. No, my sister. Please cherish her. I will. <laughs> I will make her happy. I swear it. Nils, you... are you... Hmm. I'm going in alone. I want to live a long time. I don't have your curiosity. Nils? Okay then, I'm going. Be well, Nils. I'll miss you.
I'll never forget you. Nails! Don't cry, Ninian. Even if we are apart. If we never see each other again. Our b bond will never, ever be cut. More importantly, sister. Live as long. And be as happy as you can. For, the, for as long as you can. Goodbye, Nils. Nils? Thank you, Nils. Oh, daybreak! Beautiful, isn't it? Start of another day. Dawn of a new day! Minion, you'll come with me, won't you? Yes! Oh, look at that precious picture. <laughs> Hesitant for that moment. One year later. So here you are, Vision. Will you attend my ascension ceremony? Well, if I have time, maybe. Hector and everyone else is coming. What? These clothes? I look silly, don't I? Well, they look good on you, but uh, it's a bit bright for me. Formal dress is so stiff, I can't stand it. Ah, everything's finally resolved. I'll succeed my father as Marcus Ferry. That's good, Elwood. I don't know if I'm equal to the task, but I'm sure you will be fine. I'm going to do my best for all the people who live here. And I'm sure you'll be a good leader. Vision, you... Do you really have to go? No, I understand. Yeah, we cannot stay along. I'm sure that you have things you must do. You have to get on to my life. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me in everything. Yeah, it's been a long year and a half. Lord Eliwood? Here I am, Ninian. Uh, oh, hello, Vision. Um, Lord Eliwood is Vision. Vision will be at the ceremony of Ascension. Good. But must leave shortly thereafter. Well, I can see you ascend the... Is that so? I'm disappointed. Oh, Vision. I want you to know something, okay? You want me to know something? When things are a little more settled, Ninian and... I plan to be married. Well, that's a good thing. And this may be a bit premature, but... Vision, we'd like you to name our first child. Well, I think, of it, I, will t I think I have a name ready. Ninja and I talked it over. You've done so much for us. And we truly want this. Well, I think the name is going to be... Please, Vision. Yeah, I think the name is going to be Roy, maybe? So Vision, this is farewell. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't. This world wouldn't be here. Ah, uh, you know, yeah. Without me, the game wouldn't have played itself. So you, you have my heart for gratitude, Vision. Sorry. <laughs> I'll see you again. It is a promise, my friend. Sure. This let's play is far from over. Ah, finally the credits. It has took me way too long for me to actually finish this game. And these are all the people that all have worked on this game. And, you know, these are the credits. But hey, wait a minute. There are other people that I need to credit as well. Those who have worked for me and, you know, made this Let's Play possible. And those are my voice actors. So, I want to thank my voice actors by doing this.
Thanks uh, for coming, Elwood. Hector, long time no see. First time since my uh, brother's funeral. Fifteen years now. Look at us. We've both grown older, haven't we? Uh-huh. Time certainly does beat right by. My father's disappearance, his death, the fight with Nurgle, those fire dragons. The memories are so vivid. It might have been happened, it might have happened yesterday. Nurgle, what a black heart he was. I've had enough of battles like that. Hmm. Is that your son over there? I've been wanting to introduce you, but there's been no chance. Roy, come here. Did you need something? Father? Say hello to Marcus Ostia. Ye yes, sir. A, a pleasure to meet you, Lord Hector. My name is Roy. Roy, is it? Nice to meet you, lad. Well, I guess that means I should introduce my daughter, then. Oh, my daughter, then. Lelina! What, are you being shy? You don't have to be n nervous. This is your father. Father's old friend. And his son. Hello, Lilina. This is Roy. He's the same age as you. Nice to meet you. Lilina, let's be friends. You can play over there. It's okay. Go on. What a cute child. Good thing she took after her mother. What? She just looks just like me, doesn't she? You're a sarcastic one, Marcus Ocia. Come on now, you're the one putting on airs. <coughs> Marcus Ferry. <laughs> The only thing older about you is your appearance. Don't tell me you still behave like that even now that you're the Mar Mar Marquess, Marquise. I've, uh, I'm always on top of my duties as a Marquise. But when I'm around you, I want to relax. So please. Hector. By the way, I heard that the king of. Oh, by the way, I heard that the king of Burn died. It was fairly sudden too. I can't be certain, but according to one of our spies, he was killed in an assassination attempt on Prince Zephyr. The prince? I trust he was unharmed. It's a strange tale. At first, I heard that the prince was killed. Then new information came, three days later, saying that it was the king who had died. Do you remember Oxygeto's pr prediction? Is something happening in Bern? I don't know. Father, can I show Roy my pony? Yes, go on ahead, be careful! Okay! For the sake of our children's futures.
I'll stop anything that may happen. I'll sacrifice my life to make it so. Once again, Lysia brings hope. If that turns out to be tr to be wrong, no, it must happen. For what reason have you awakened a demon dragon? Who are you? Drag 